Hey guys. Since my first Polish MP4 gas mask is in quite bad condition, I decided to get a new one, and I got one that's completely new and unissued. So, let's unpack everything and install the filters. The set includes the mask with a Polish manual, a pair of lens outserts, a pair of cheek filters, two poppers to hold the filters in place, and a winterization kit. Let's unpack the mask first. There's a piece of plastic inside to maintain the mask's shape while in storage. Now let's get the foil wrapped filters unpacked. Now for the rather painful part, putting the cheek filters inside the mask. Sorry if I'm not always perfectly in frame, because it was hard to maintain in frame for the whole procedure. While installing the filters, let's take this time to talk a little bit about the mask's history. The MP4 is a Polish clone of the American M17 gas mask. Its development started in 1970, and production started in 1973. It was meant to replace the older Soviet-style helmet masks, like the AM-14. It remained in service until the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe, and was then replaced by the MP5 gas mask. In 1990, a second version of the MP4 was developed, called the MP4B. The only real difference to the MP4 was, that the MP4B had a drinking tube. However, only very few MP4Bs were made, according to some sources only 200 to 300 pieces. Many other Eastern European countries, including the Soviet Union, also copied the M17. Czechoslovakia had the M10 and M10M, which were also used by the East Germans, Bulgaria had the PD-1 and the Soviet Union had the PBF. The carrier bag you saw in the beginning is actually an MP4B bag. The original MP4 bag is made from canvas and has fewer pockets. The MP4B's bag is made from rubberized fabric and has some additional pockets. Inside the pockets, additional equipment like a decontamination kit can be carried. Finally, the pouches of the filters can be buttoned up.
These poppers are here to hold the filters in place and work as the intake valves. They're held on by just friction, unlike on the Czech M10 and M10M where they're screwed in place. Now for the outserts. They're here to protect the original lenses from taking damage or getting scratched. Installing them is not too difficult on the MP4. I find that the ones on the Czech M10 and M10M are much harder to install. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel now so that you don't miss any future content. Goodbye and I'll see you again in the next video.